Hey guys, what's going on? Rob from ClicksGeek, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how Google's location settings work and a few things that you should definitely um, take into consideration when you're running different types of traffic because they definitely respond differently based on if it's desktop, if it's mobile, if it's tablet, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to uh, kind of go through that with you. So right now you're looking at one of our example campaigns, which is a Detroit windshield company. And if we go into the actual settings, oops, I didn't want to do that. Go into settings, and we'll pull down the locations tab here. So this is where you're going to want to add all your locations. And this is something, too, that you have to make sure that you set. For the love of God, please make sure you're doing this, okay? You go to location options, and you want to have this box checked. Do not do the recommended, all right? I'm going to tell you why in a minute. You want to have people in or regularly in your targeted locations. You do not want to have people searching for your targeted locations because that's going to show your ad to people who might be outside of your targeted location but they're searching. So someone in Chicago who's searching for Detroit, maybe they have a, a summer house there or, or whatever, I don't know, their mother lives there and she called their son and she needs the windshield replaced in this example for this campaign, um, the, your ad will show and you don't want that, okay? You only want to have ads showing to people who can actually service the, uh, the client in the location. So this one that's recommended, people in or who show interest in your targeted locations, is kind of like the same thing, but it's lumping in people who are already in the location. So you don't really want that because, you could, again, it could possibly show your ad to someone who's just searching your location but not actually in your location. And that's a huge, huge deal because then you're going to start getting leads from people who the clients can be like, dude, what the hell? Like, I, you know, I'm, I'm in Detroit and I just got to leave from Buffalo because our ads are showing there. So you can't, you definitely can't have that. So it's very important you understand people in or regularly in your target locations is what you want to choose. And you want to set all of your locations in here. So obviously just go to advanced search. And this guy was Detroit. But, you know, if I'm going to go, if I was going to do it correctly, I would definitely do Detroit DMA. That's where you're going to get all your leads. I mean, that might be too big for a client. So it really depends. I mean, DMA is like, they pull. They totally pull leads, but that like not all of them can do that. So I understand that. So maybe we just do like a radius. So this guy's got a radius here. So you can come up here and do a radius. Let's say we want 10 miles around Detroit. And you can see there it's all it's getting all that metro. So that's even a little smaller. I'd probably go a little bigger. Do 20. And again, obviously it depends on how big of a location. Yeah, there you go. That's grabbing everything. How big of a location that you service is the most important part, all right? So that's what I would do for that. So you got a few options here. You can just manually drop in, search, and, and add your locations that you want to add. You can do a radius like I just showed you how to do. Or what you can do if you have a list of cities or zip codes, you do add bulk, and you just drop them all, just one per line, okay? That's all you got to do. So it would be like, a, you know, 5555. Five, five, five. Five, 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 like that. Don't do them one next to each other like that. All right, trust me. It's just easier this way. Just list them out. And then you would hit uh, search, and it'll search them, and they come up here, add all, and uh, hit save, and you, you added all your cities or your zip codes or whatever. But one of the most important takeaways from, from this video is to understand how, number one, what I just went over with people in your location, That's because that's huge. That Number one reason that people's campaigns fail from uh, people who come to us from other agencies is they have the wrong settings set in their locations and they're getting leads from outside of their targeted locations and the clients are pissed and they're, you know, hammering on them. So that's number one. Number two is actually this. If you go into devices, yeah, we're going to skip out of here. So a majority of our campaigns, now obviously not this one, but a majority, we're doing this. We're pushing only mobile traffic, not call only. We're doing regular search, but we're just negative 100%ing all the tablet and desktop computer traffic, and we're running mobile. So something to understand with mobile traffic is it, it is not perfect. Google has not perfected it yet. You will get leads and clicks from people outside of your location very randomly. 
All right, there's just I, probably because they're on their phones when they're searching, they're on the move, they might be driving in a car, I don't know. But sometimes you will, so that's something to keep in mind, if you're running mobile traffic, to keep that in mind, that you will get people who are outside of your targeted location. How far out? It's usually not that far, but I mean, we have seen it as far as a state over from where we were targeting, and that's obviously a huge problem. Another thing that you want to do, go back into locations, you want to come down to excluded, so you can see here, <clears throat> Let's see what we got next to Detroit. So we are going to want to exclude everything around where we're targeting. Just to kind of tell Google, hey, look, I don't lock everything from these locations. So let's do just do all of Canada because it's right on the border there. So we're going to exclude Canada. Let's go back down. And we're going to get rid of Ohio. So we'll exclude Ohio. And we got what do we got right here? Indiana. See what I'm doing here? Just boxing it in. We want to make sure that our leads are only coming from the closest location possible to our uh, to our target location. All right, so I'm also going to go one over. I'm going to do Illinois as well. There we go. All right, I'm happy with that. So as you can see here, we sur he's surrounded by excluded locations, and uh, I'm good with that. Now you could even go further. It depends how integrated you want to get. I could I could also add. You know, Kalamazoo, Grand Rapids. I can add all of these, all of these as exclusions, all around, and just do all around my little bubble here where I want my leads. It's it's really up to you. And um, if we have, we usually don't go that far. We do, we definitely do this almost 100% of the time. We're excluding all around the target location. We don't really exclude inside around the location unless the client is getting calls from outside of the target location. If it's becoming a problem. A persistent problem and, and it has before definitely um, then then we'll co we'll go deep in here and we'll just start excluding giant chunks of the state around where our main targeting is so that's just something to keep in mind when you're uh, setting up your location extensions is that you want to always have your exclusions you want to make sure your your targets are dialed in and uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll just kind of walk you through how to set up your locations. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below this video. I'll, I'll dive in and help as much as I can. And um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can do that by clicking the red subscribe button down on the bottom right of this video. You should see it right there. And check out the links in the description. I'll put some useful stuff in there for you guys.